Hello friends, welcome to Civil Architecture Tutorials channel. Today we will discuss uh, regarding EPC contract and turnkey contract. So as we know, uh, a traditional way of contract is in which the client will do the design, uh, the drawing and also the BOQ part of the uh, project and then he will submit this to the contractors and the contractors have to do according to the BOQ and also according to the design and the drawing given by the client but in the EPC contract it is something else so what is called EPC EPC is engineering procurement and construction contract so in which the contractor have to do the engineering part of the contract the procurement part of the contract and also the construction part of the contract that means the client is free from all these things and nowadays uh, most of the government projects in India and some of the private projects uh, in India and also most of the projects in uh, foreign countries like Japan, Germany, France they are doing only EPC contract why because the major headache of the client is not there to prepare the design to uh, procure the materials to do the concession uh, or to, to do to do the BOQ part for that they need to um, get the staff for that all these things they don't need to do so this is this type of contract is called EPC contract so in it the client is just informing the contract that I need to make a project in this location and the name of that project is so and so this is the only information that client will provide and he will give the money for that that's the only thing which has been done from client side while the contractor ha you have to do the design drawing BOQ part of all the projects and then he has to submit to the client that this is the BOQ of your project this is the design of your project and uh, this will be the budget so the client have to agree if he is agreeing to that budget or BOQ part then he only have to agree to that say for example it, uh, let it be 100 crore okay let it be the contract between LNT and the Kerala government for a hospital project so if it is 100 crore project submitted by the LNT to the Kerala government according to the BOQ then the government will look into it with, with its uh, uh, aspects and then they will agree to that BOQ and the scheduled time will be maybe one year that is also given by the contractor to the Kerala government to the client so the client according to the EPC he or the that government will agree to that EPC and the contractor have to complete this project within that stipulated time interval with that cost provided by the contractor himself to the client it is not given by the client but given by the contractor so this is called EPC engineering procurement construction contract now most of the engineers maybe most of the people or, or the engineers also have the believe that EPC and the 10 projects are same but it is not same actually uh, many of the things are same in EPC as well as the 10 project that is the client is not doing much things he is giving everything to the contractor to do the BOQ part the design part the drawing part but the difference is that in the 10 project the difference lies in that the cost and time is uh, authorized by or is given by the client to the contractor how much will be the cost say for example the uh, same uh, if it's a hospital project by the LNT if LNT is the uh, eligible uh, contractor for that project then the Kerala government or the client will tell the LNT that we will have to finish this project by 90 crores okay and it should not uh, go be above this uh, 90 crores and also we need this project to be finished within one year the time and the cost factor is given by client only and not there is nothing to do with the contractor contractor have to agree if he is not agreeing then the client will go to another contractor and the second part is first I said cost and time and the second part is in EPC uh, the client will uh, enquire about the different stages of construction or how the work is done that the contractor and the client will decide the arrangement the work arrangement all these things the client can uh, have an involvement in it and he will always look into the arrangement and uh, the period of work or so and so work how long it will take and how much cost all these things will be done but in the 10k project 
the client is not at all interested in any of these things he don't want to know how you are going to do the work within one year but he is interested only in the key means he has turned the key when the job is done that is called turn key project so he will not interfere in any of these things and the third part is in epc contracts the client can give or can divide the major work into so many subdivisions and can give this work to the subcontractors but in turn key project he is not authorized to give any of his work to any subcontractors because all the work have to be done by his, his own company so that is the thing in 10 key projects and that is the difference between epc and 10 key projects and what is the advantages of uh, of that that the client is taking because of this epc and 10 key project is that client have no headache he don't have to prepare any design or drawing or any he don't have to uh, get any staff to do all this project all these things he just have to give the uh, money and also he have to give the in if it is in the 10 key project he have to uh, give the time also the uh, scheduled time also he is giving so he is uh, free from all these things that's that's why most of the companies now is going for epc projects or 10 key projects so it's not like the traditional uh, way of contracting that the client will prepare the voq and drawing and then he will invite and put a tender and then he will uh, the, they go for the bidding process and then the client will decide upon the <coughs> contractor but this will make easier uh, the things to the client so that he just have to look into observe the things and then give the money at time at stipulated intervals that's the only thing he need to do uh, as per the client from the client side so contractor have to do all these jobs so there will be competition between the contractors and uh, this competition will reduce the uh, project of the project cost also when it looks from the client side so overall it is a good experience for the client but only thing the quality also have to be ensured and in the EPC, EPC, there is called EPCC, that is uh, Engineering, Procurement, Construction and Commissioning is also there. That, that all contract is also uh, is, uh, is there uh, for some projects. That is, uh, in some projects they will give one, one more year to the contractor after the work is finished as a commissioning period because uh, whatever happens to that project, whatever maintenance is coming into that project, that has to be done by the contractor. That is also uh, called the commissioning, EPCC. So this is the difference between EPCC and uh, 10 key project. Uh, hope you understand uh, the meaning of all these things and the advantages and disadvantages. So if you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. We will meet in the another video. Thank you very much.